What's going on everybody and welcome to Hylian Alf Gaming. I'm your host, Alf, and today we're going to be talking about the game that basically everyone's been talking about since its launch, Super Mario Odyssey. This is probably my favorite Mario game and for many good reasons. For one thing, it's bigger and more creative than any other Mario game by far, and jumping all over the place with your new hat friend Cappy is entertaining for hours on end. However, what is arguably Mario Odyssey's most interesting new mechanic is the way it handles what I take to be the equivalent of power-ups. I'm speaking, naturally, of Mario's new capture ability. The ability to take over Mario's many enemies is a strange concept to think about, but it leaves you wondering how it hadn't been used sooner with all the unique gameplay it offers. That said, some captures are in a class above the rest, and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 best Super Mario Odyssey captures. Keep in mind that I'm basing this list off of how well the capture controls, how useful it is when captured, and how cool the capture is. Without further ado, let's get started. At number 10 on the list, we have the Uproot. Uproots are little bulb things with long spiky legs. Not a great description, but what more can you say about them? What makes this capture interesting is that the legs of an uproot can stretch out really far, allowing you to reach high platforms, break open nuts, and even push platforms to the height you need to use them at. Uproots are one of Super Mario Odyssey's truly original enemies, and they're a really clever concept. However, while the uproot controls fine, it's not particularly enjoyable to use, which is why it's not any higher on the list. Now let's move on to number 9. Coming in at number 9, we have the Glidon. Basically, every Mario game since Mario 3 has had some way to make Mario fly, whether by temporary gliding or infinite airtime. Odyssey is no exception to this trend, one of its flight methods being used via the Glidon capture. Yoshi's pterodactyl-like yellow cousin allows Mario to glide slowly downward over long distances. His shoes, glasses, and fun shouts add a comical charm to Glidon, and there's even a sort of exploit you can do by shaking your controller that allows him to fly forward almost indefinitely. Aside from that exploit, however, you can only really effectively use Glidon to glide down in a straight path toward your target, as turning makes you slow down and dive down a bit. Other than that, however, Glidon is a fresh new take on the Mario flying concept that feels really good to use. At number 8, we have the Bullet Bill. Mario Kart's most useful item makes it into Mario Odyssey, and it's also very useful here. The Bullet Bill allows you to fly around for a limited time without moving up or down. This may not sound like much, but the Bullet Bill can blow up rocks and enemies, revealing secrets and power moves. In addition to all this, there are a few clever platforming sections with the Bullet Bill where you reach a goal while avoiding walls, some of which even move. The Bullet Bill is great for blowing things up, but it explodes into nothing upon impact with most objects. That's why it's number 8 and not any higher on the list. For number 7 on my list, it's the Gushin. One of Odyssey's most original new enemies, the Gushin allows Mario to quickly jet around, up or horizontally, similarly to a combination of the blast and hover nozzles from Mario Sunshine. Adding a new layer of depth to this concept, the jets of water coming out of the Gushin will hurt enemies or blocks caught in the stream. The Gushin feels great to just zoom around the seaside kingdom in, and there's a really fun out-of-bounds glitch you can do with the one right here. The giant octopus boss you fight with it is very clever, though I personally found him to be a bit tedious. The Gushin is a really cool and fresh capture idea that I'm glad Nintendo put into Super Mario Odyssey. You all knew that this would be on the list. The number 6 best capture in Super Mario Odyssey is the T-Rex, and most of the contributing reasons boil down to one simple fact. The T-Rex is just so darn cool! As the T-Rex, you can just barrel all over the place, completely destroying enemies, rocks, and more. This is the Invincibility Star on steroids, and it's a blast to experience this capture. My biggest gripe with the T-Rex is that it doesn't control very smoothly, making it awkward to use. Other than that though, the T-Rex is just totally amazing. Number 5 on my list is the Tropical Wiggler. Appearing mainly in the Lost Kingdom, Tropical Wigglers are a simple concept that really go a long way. The Tropical Wiggler allows you to stretch forward like a slinky, reaching to distant platforms and into small openings. You'll never even accidentally fall into the poison as the Tropical Wiggler because his hind legs only leave the platform you're on if the Tropical Wiggler's front end is on another platform. It really is a lot of fun stretching around in all sorts of crazy, twisty maneuvers, and that's not even to mention how cute they are. These Rainbow Wiggler guys are adorable, adding yet another layer of greatness to this fruit-flavored platforming lasagna of fun. At number 4, we have our old buddy Yoshi. A fan favorite since its debut in Super Mario World, Yoshi returns to 3D Mario for the first time since Galaxy 2 in 2010. 
I really love how the game introduces Yoshi on the roof of Peach's castle, similar to in Mario 64. Unfortunately, aside from in the Mushroom Kingdom, Yoshi basically only appears in sub-areas of kingdoms, but that doesn't make him any less amazing. I mean, come on, he's Yoshi. He makes cute noises, he floats a little, and he eats fruit. New to Odyssey is his wall-sticking ability, but this is only truly utilized in one or two areas. Aside from that, what more can I say? Taking the bronze medal as the third best capture in Super Mario Odyssey, we have what is arguably the most unique capture in the game, the Pokio. Primarily appearing in Bowser's Kingdom, capturing a Pokio allows you to jab your long beak into softer sections of walls. In addition to acting as a reveal the moon button on occasion, this sticking ability mainly allows you to flick the Pokio in any direction, making for some very interesting platforming moments. As you progress through Bowser's Kingdom, you'll go from scaling massive vertical monstrosities to inching your way along the walls. It's such a goofy concept at first, but after a minute or two, flicking your way along walls feels so natural. On top of all that, the Pokio's beak also acts as a weapon that can even peck away massive bombs. It's such a unique and fun concept that it definitely deserves its number 3 spot on the list. Just barely missing the number 1 spot, it's the Charge and Chuck. Have you ever wanted a bullet bill that runs across the ground and can barrel forward and smash things indefinitely? Well, the Charge and Chuck is for you. This guy is a lot like a mix between the Bullet Bill and the T-Rex. He's basically indestructible while running like the T-Rex, but he's also fast and turns smoothly like the Bullet Bill. On top of all this, Chuck also has the option to walk around slowly and more precisely when you need him to. Sadly, the Chuck only appears in two places in the game to my knowledge, the Moon Kingdom and the Ruined Kingdom. I do see why they chose to do this, though, because he's pretty OP. My favorite of his appearances is the one in the Ruined Kingdom, where you blast around a huge open plain, destroying blocks and hordes of ghost skeleton things as you go. The one major downside to the Chuck, however, is that he can't jump. Fortunately, you never really need him to jump in the few places he appears, which makes this a much smaller issue. Finally, at number one, we have The Rock. Yes, folks, I think you all saw this coming. I mean, what could be possibly more amazing and fun to control than a big rock that moves back and forth? It's not just a boulder, it's a rock. All right, that's enough joking for now. Let's get to the real number one. Bowser. Just, just Bowser. The biggest, baddest Mario enemy there ever was, and you get to capture him. He can smash through rocks and enemies with his claws, he can shoot fire as a long-range attack, and he can even jump, a luxury not shared with the T-Rex or Charge and Chuck. As a side note, did you know that Bowser has a triple jump in this game? Anyway, Bowser is just an awesome capture who shares the strength of many other great captures in the game, but almost none of their weaknesses. I guess he takes damage, but that's about the only problem. Besides, what did you expect? If he couldn't take damage, he'd be even more OP than he already is. Between his incredible melee attack, his ranged fireballs, and his great controls, it's clear that Bowser is the best capture in Super Mario Odyssey. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and tell me your favorite Super Mario Odyssey captures down in the comments below. See you next time, and have a great day.